Hi, welcome. My name is Emesha from Everything Digital and here on this channel we talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. Are you struggling to make listing images for your digital products? For Etsy or your own website? Don't you worry, I got you covered. Today we are going to make three listing image covers for your digital products in Canva. We, I will take you through all of the steps that are necessary to create a good listing image, in my opinion. So, if you need help creating good quality listing images for your digital products, then keep on watching. Today we are going to create together in Canva uh, three listing image mockups that you can reuse in your business. You just have to uh, change the title and all of, some of the other text details. But the core principles remain the same for all three of these listing images. So let's hop over to my computer screen and I will show you how I create listing images for digital products. So let's start with the first one. And let's say we are doing a fitness planner and this has three to five pages, just a simple mock-up. So let's do the first one and uh, I will start by adding a heading section. Maybe like that wide. And let's make it a light color. Yes, I like pinks and the neutral cream tones. So that's what I will use. Okay, that's the heading. Now uh, let's add the title. Um, this font is okay too, but I will use one of my favorites, which is called Playfair Display. And you can search for fonts here. And let's say this planner bundle bundle. Okay. That's good. Let's bring it lower and make it a little bit smaller. That's good. Now let's add the subheading. And here we can write a few of the important details that uh, describe these, this bundle or these files. So let's say printable PDF file. Then let's add instant download. And let's add the sizes that we offer. Let's say that we offer two sizes, A4 and US letter size. Now let's make this smaller. Okay, now with just these two rows of text, we explained more about our digital products than the majority of the competitors listing images altogether. So now that we have this, let's add a few mockups where the actual pages will go. And in Canva you can do this easily with the frames. So now you have to go to the elements tab. And here you scroll down and here are the frames. There are a bunch of shapes that you can choose from, but we have to choose obviously a rectangular one because the pages are rectangular. Okay, here is it. Here is the frame that uh, we will be using. Let's arrange them so that they look nice. Let's say we have three pages here. Okay, now let's add some other elements that are important in my opinion. And the next one would be your logo. I will just put something here as in the place where your logo should go. And let's have this circle represent that logo. And we will put that right here. Now let's add the PDF icon. I like to edit this so that people know that we are working with a PDF file and not some other random kind of formats. So let's find a good one. I'm using the pro account but uh, the majority of these are available in the free version as well. 
let's put it right there that, so that people will know that this is a PDF file. Now I would put in another design element and that would be right here in the background so that we can lift our designs from the background. We will send this to the back and that okay does that let's find some shadows. And we can add these right here and there. And let's say backwards. And now you can see that there is a shadow underneath the page. So this will give it more dimension. And let's resize it to the page size. And let's add it to all three pages. Okay. The next step would be to add the background color if you would like. I feel like I would like to add a light gray. Here are the background options. We can try something, but let's take down the transparency a little bit more and change the color. Let's find something that I like. No, I will not use a background color for this. I like the white. Let's add a few more details. Let's lock this element because I don't want it to move. And now, so that I can select the shadows too. Uh, it, yes, and now I can just drag and this will automatically make the mockups bigger, the frames. And now, here is another tip that you can do. You can add your logo right here so that your design will be more protected than just here. Because uh, here, from there, people just can easily take Photoshop and erase it with two clicks. If you put it here, then it's easier to protect your design. And you, in this case, I'm right-handed, but I prefer everything to be in the left. So now I would move this right here. That would be the first image. Now let's create another one. Let's duplicate this one. Let's do another layout. So let's line them up. Forget about the shadows for a second. Now we have the three images next to each other. And we can adjust the shadows. We have to make them smaller, of course. Okay, let's arrange them a little bit. And now let's change up a text a bit. So, let's say that we will remove the title. We will bring this one lower. And, uh, mm -hmm. oh, I have a new, I have an idea. Let's bring this here. And let's add the twist to it and let's select another frame. In this case, this will be a tablet. Here, and let's add a twist to it like this and let's say use this planner on or on a And let's try to find a logo from Good Notes. In this case, we can go online and download the Good Notes logo. Yeah, this one will be good. And let's just upload it to Canva. Okay, now that we have this one as well, let's add it next to the PDF logo. And let's create another mock-up with uh, this tablet uh, frame. <laughs> and let's leave the icons there. Let's make this the title. 
let's say that one of the pages from this uh, fitness planner is a workout planner. We can get rid of two of these because we will not need them. And let's link those two together. Make this one straight. And let's add them side by side, about the same size. Okay, we should make them bigger. Like that. Okay, and let's put the logo here, very important. And let's add a few arrows. I like these curly ones. Let's add another one here and flip it. We will add some more text. the logo there and let's say printed and let's put the PDF file here no let's search for a printer icon this one let's use this that one there. Oh yes, this way you can create more, more of an interesting effect. So this is it, how I would create listing images for digital products in Canva. I really like to use frames because I can change up the designs that I put into these frames just in two clicks or with the drag and drop feature. This way I don't have to take a long time creating these images, they can be ready in just a few seconds. Once I created these mockups, I can reuse them all the time. Now, if you are a beginner digital product seller or if you are just short on time and if you would like to save a lot of time creating these mockups, I came up with a solution for you. I already created these mockups in Canva. There are 20 templates for printable planners or any other kind of paper goods and I created a set for other digital products like uh, social media templates. They are a game changer, they can be used uh, very easily in Canva. They are aesthetic, they are easy to change, easy to brand and you will save so much time and so much work using these templates. I will leave uh, links down below in the description to these templates. I hope you can find value in them and you will use them in your digital products business. So that was for today's video. I hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks that I use to create mock-up templates and not just templates but mock-ups for actual digital products in Canva. And if you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel, it helps out a lot. Leave a comment down below with the methods that you prefer to use to create digital product listing images and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!